What's up, y'all? So today I'm just going to talk about certain things that I've noticed. Moving the veil, of course. Bringing myself back down. And really, I just want to speak about, like, if you don't have social media at this point in time, it kind of becomes as if you're not even an existing person. It's almost like you don't exist. Like, if you don't have a social media page and you're just on, like, watching YouTube or on streaming sites, and you happen to come on this video, do you see a difference from when you had social media to being without it? Like, I've noticed that everyone falls by the wayside. Nobody wonders what, well, they wonder what you're doing, especially if they were close friends and you kind of just, and it kind of just fell to the wayside. They wonder because they want to know what you're doing because they want to be nosy. When I asked you to speak, you were a 4-2, okay? And the authenticity of a vintage Bond low 4 at a gathering of this caliber played fantastically in all the simulations we ran. Prestige balance is 0.2 minimum, but now you're a sub-3. Sorry. So it was just about numbers for you? Oh, cut the shit. It was numbers for both of us. You wanted those primo votes. Don't deny it. I mean, it's not like you could get them on your own. Let's not kid ourselves. Some of them, some of them actually genuinely care, but you get a general uh, understanding of those who do not because you can uh, foresee things, so to speak. With that being said, like I realized that being without social media has been a little bit of a detriment, but ultimately it really has helped me heal. It has helped me become the person I am because I was uh, 4.6 once. Four, six? You used to live for it. Eight years ago, Tom, my husband, got cancer. It was pancreatic and a real bitch. I'm so sorry. You don't know me, so you're not really sorry. You're just, you're mainly awkward because I have sprung some cancer talk at you. Anyway, I started saying what I wanted, when I wanted, just drop it out there. People don't always like that. It is incredible how fast you slip off the ladder when you start doing that. Now, a lot of my friends didn't care for honesty. Treated me like I had taken a shit at their breakfast table. But Jesus Christ, it felt good. Shedding those fuckers. It helped me uh, wean myself off of the general understanding of I need likes, I need to be seen, I need all of this because it's my ego. My ego is very big. Like, when I see the numbers on my videos, I get discouraged. No, that's a lie, that's a lie, I don't get discouraged. I kind of just am um, interested in looking at that aspect, um, the ratio. You can do a whole scientific study around this kind of thing and it's it's really uh, interesting to see if you could do a case study on folks who do not have social media comparative to folks who do have social media. And it's kind of like, how do they interact in society? Are there any differences? And I would say that from what I've seen, there are a, a lot of differences. And for most part, it's like the ones who are still on social media, they're still being coaxed a little bit. I think that's kind of just the human psyche. Because we're such good mimics, we just kind of latch on to certain things and, oh, that looks great, and so we mimic it. Um, and this is kind of how they had us uh, locked up in sitcoms for so long. You see, whenever I get angry, I just recite this little poem, it calms me down. Three, two, one. One, two, three. What the heck is bothering me? <laughs> just like locked up in all this other nonsense rhetoric uh, propaganda and it's it's and now it's time for everybody loves hypnotoad <laughs> even in the depression the entertainment industry thrives uh, the MK ultras of the new era and it's like with that narrative falling apart they've been flying all day you can probably hear them in the background by the way but uh That's an Apache helicopter, by the way. It's been out there since this morning. Yeah, it's been out there all day. Training. Mm -hmm. 
interesting. But with that being said, that's a digression for later days. So let's continue. Like really, do you see what they've done? You really get a feeling that we've been had for like so long, even our parents, our grandparents, but when you're on this journey and get to a certain level, you know that that is the case, but it's just like, Mm, thinking about it on the 3D level, it's kind of, um, it's almost like it's overwhelming. It's, it kind of fries the senses because it's like, oh my God, I've been lied to. Oh my God, Did all that, really? I hate using English because I have a extreme propensity to use certain words like ultimately or like and it's um, not disturbing it's just like you you realize that even with your vocabulary broadening your horizons when it comes to wording can set you free in its own right so uh, that's kind of why I speak the way I speak I mean, I say words are nonsense, and really they are, because ultimately there's something more specific that you should be aware of, but I'm not going to state that because there are people that listen that shouldn't be listening. But, you know, your time and days are numbered is same. So, really, really realize that Things that you put into your your body, so to speak, things that you you're watching uh, can coax you, no matter how simplistic it is. We are automatons, and we are easily swayed. Even deities, even or folks who have a deeper and uh, more profound understanding of. Uh, well, we have found ourselves, so. But really, they just are coaxing our minds into being a specific way. So I would just say, definitely ground yourself. And even if you're vibing real high right now, realize that things are, well, you know what things are. So I won't even waste your time with that. But let me switch gears a little bit. So there's something bothering me. So the solar flares, it's not really bothering me. It's just like I can feel every solar flare. Are, are, is there anyone out there who has been feeling extreme headaches or you get that, that ringing, that high pitch ringing? Oh my God, it's ongoing, it's constant. <laughs> to me now so I'm just like I go with it but the headaches from the CMEs I know when we have a CME and even when the government posts that oh the the, the geomagnetic weather is very mild it's, it's non-existent at this uh, moment they're lying because I can feel it and I just am like so you sit up here and bold face lie to folks really and then you have amateur astronomers or folks who actually are learned in the field of uh, planetary movements and and the, the fields that overlap those planets they're literally like raising red flags but their pages are getting covered up everything is getting covered up even I get covered up but you know you just kind of go with life at this moment but as always this video is getting a little longer than I would like 
So if you are experiencing a lot of these headaches, if you're experiencing anything out of the ordinary, like this is a new era. So you have to understand a lot is going on. So with that being said, for the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who not, let's get it.